Hi, this is Joe again with another review. But I was thinking this video, going, since we just had the 90th Academy Awards just last night, so I figured to do a review of one of the 90 Oscar winning films. Uh, I've done a bunch from previously in the past, so check them out if you haven't uh, seen them, at least a lot of the Oscar winning movies that I've seen in my lifetime. So I'm doing one that I just saw this, this past weekend. It was on your Oscar weekend, so TCM was showing a lot of Oscar winning films. And I saw this one, it was like really the first time I've really seen this movie. Uh, because I avoided it, because we all know what movie should have beat this one out. And that's the 1982 film Gandhi, starring Ben, starring ben Kingsley. And of course, this movie is definitely one of the longer films that won for Best Picture. It was, it's over three hours long. It's, it's almost three and a half hours long. And it feels like a six hour movie. That, because it's very slow. Uh, slow paced film. Uh, like I said. So it's Ben Kingsley. It's the title character Mahatma Gandhi. Who back in 1948. Was assassinated. And this movie does remind me a lot. Of another Oscar winning film. That's about, that's about as long in length. Uh, about a real, another real life person, and that was Lawrence of Arabia. As I previously reviewed that movie, so check it out. <coughs> uh, what I mean by that is, it sorts off, uh, or the movie Gandhi sorts off the same way Lawrence of Arabia did, when you show the death of the title character. Uh, and Lawrence of Arabia is what Pierre II, of course, played Lawrence of Arabia. He was riding his motorcycle and gets into an accident and dies in the in the motorcycle accident. And they go and they show the funeral scene or just after the funeral. And then the rest of the movie was in flashbacks of Lawrence's life. And how it became famous, you know, how it became Lawrence of T H or T H Lawrence or D H Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia. Um, same thing with this movie. This movie starts off in nineteen forty eight when Mahatma Gandhi was killed, and they showed his funeral, the mass of people going to Gandhi's funeral, and with him in the casket, you know, lying there in state. Uh, and then the and then you have a commentary, commentator from the British, from the BBC, I guess, commentating on, on the people saying the funeral of Gandhi and all that stuff, and then the rest of the movies and fast, uh, flashbacks, and how Gandhi, who was a young attorney, signed to be in South Africa, and he became, you know, a, a world leader or a peace leader uh, with non-violence uh, demonstrations to protest the British rule of, in, in India, and that and that and that's basically where the story is. And it is over three hours long. And it's very hard along to sit, sit through this movie. And this movie won a ton of Oscars. I think it won like eight Oscars, something like that. For, for this film, claiming for Richard Attenborough for Best Director, Ben Kingsley for Best Actor, rightly so. I mean, I mean, to me, to me, that was really the only Oscar I feel that Gandhi should have won was for Best Actor. Anything else should have went to a movie that should have won for Best Picture. And that was E. T. Because that was the big competition that year, and a lot of people. I do remember at the time that a lot of people were outraged. That Gandhi won instead, at least I was, uh, because he, at the time E.T. was the biggest money-making movie of all time, and which of course was subsequently passed by uh, Titanic and Avatar and probably a few other uh, films after that. I know where E.T. stands now; those are the top money-making movies of all time. But it was for like 15 years, 15, 16 years, it was the number one. Highest rate, and then and record stood for like 16 years, and not to get the recognition as it stood in the Oscars was an absolute joke. And they felt because it made the most money, they didn't want to give it to a blockbuster film at that time. Um, because most Oscar movies, Oscar was usually go to somebody who played real life cat, real life person, and not so much to a, like a fantasy film. Or a science fiction fantasy, which E.T. was. And and, and science, science fiction films still had that guy in the recognition as it should. Uh, Star Wars didn't win for Best Picture. I'm talking about the original Star Wars from then. 
uh, special effects wise, yes, but not uh, for best picture. It needed an ET. And because he had Steven Spielberg and he was still making fantasy films at that time, and he got royally hosed. And because he got hosed so by ET not winning, then he made the color purple and he got hosed for the color purple as well. Uh, so, uh, like two years later. But, uh, but, but Gandhi, I felt did not deserve the best picture. I mean, and watch the movie. It is a long biopic, and it does shows how uh, you know Gandhi going on a hunger strike when he was jailed uh, to protest uh, his, his being in jail for trying to. When they accused him, I think they tried to accuse him for overthrowing the government. And but it's not true. That's when the end British rule of India, and the British government felt that they that Indians weren't. Uh, be able to govern themselves. That's why we're not going. So he kept protesting enough that they finally decided to shut him up. And because he's not going to go, because Gandhi was not going to go away, so they decided to end the British rule in India. And I think, I think eventually Gandhi was made the prime minister, I, I believe. And this is the whole film because it's hard to sit through that movie for, for, for one whole sitting because it's so long. Uh, but I think he eventually became prime minister, uh, the first prime minister of, in of India, and then he, in 1948, like I said earlier, he got assassinated by a Muslim, I believe, assassinated him. Uh, because Muslims were, were there, they, because in, in India, they do have a big Muslim population, and they try and put him into a little principality called Pakistan, so, so, you know, putting Muslims there, uh, because he felt that Hindus, should be just as equally in control as Muslims, but Muslims want the whole country. I think I think uh, India you have more of a Muslim population in India today than back in 1948 because Muslims were more in the minority in India at that time. They had mostly had Hindus there, and so they're trying to find a balance between the Hindu pop the majority Hindu population and the minority Muslims. That's what Gandhi is trying to negotiate stuff and, and feel like, oh, uh, was getting aggravated over, over the whole situation. So, oh, he, it was like, oh, when did they start? When did they start doing this? It's getting too aggravating. And he gets up and quits a few times. And then he eventually, then he eventually, uh, I think it was still, by, by the time he stopped watching the movie, because watching it for like three hours, I said I had enough. Um, but, it was a damn good performance by Ben Kingsley, and well deserved Oscar win for him. Uh, but I still feel to this day that Gandhi does not deserve the Oscar for Best Picture. E.T. the ex E.T. does not Gandhi. So I had a debate with the cinephiles as uh, guys, you know, like Eric Cohen, all those guys. Uh, previously, I said you always mention your know, Pulp Fiction losing to. Uh, Forrest Gump in the, in, in the 1995 Oscars or Jacksonville Wolves being out uh, Goodfellas but I kind of forgot that Gandhi beat out E.T. and E.T. is def still to this day for me still the more f far superior movie than Gandhi is at least for E.T. you know to sit there for, for almost three and a half hours watching this thing uh, Gandhi yes and like I said, it is, and I'm not saying it's not a well-made movie. It is. It's a well-made movie, great performance by all the actors involved. But it does not because you had that's because the movie looks good. Like I said in my review for La La Land, that's because the movie looks good, and it's well-made uh, by a technical standpoint. Does that mean that it deserves the Oscar? Because there are four bad movies. There's at least one better movie than Gandhi is in that year in, in 82, and that was E.T. Because you always have to debate which one was the better picture. And for me, E.T. will always be the better picture than Gandhi. Because it was like 11 years old when that movie came out, and that was huge. It was, a, it was like a mo real movie event. I don't know many people who went who went out to see, to see Gandhi. How many people do you know who was alive in 1982 were 
busting at the seams and seen the Gandhi movie. Nobody. And because the movie was, the only complaint that the Times movie was too damn long and sit through. And people were outraged that E.T. didn't work because it was like the first real bit, because E.T. was kind of like the favorite. Or well, like the borderline favorite because both E.T. and Gandhi were almost like neck and neck to be who was the, fav the favorite to win the Oscar and Gandhi beat it out. And I think people just didn't like Spielberg at that time and took it out on and because most people do like fantasy films or, or an action film like Raiders of the Lost Ark. And ask and Raiders of the Lost Ark didn't win for Best Picture, uh, Close Encounters, and Jaws didn't, didn't win. Those are the three other big movies that Spielberg did before he did E.T. So it's still kind of like in the fantasy action world. And so it's doing the serious films like a decade later, like with Sinner's List. Because it made a joke out. All, all you have to do is win the best pictures, make a movie based on a true store, true person, or a real life person, or make a movie about the Holocaust, or make a movie about somebody with a disability. Those are the three movies that usually win for best picture. Now they go to quality of the film. Nowadays, because they finally got off that, off that kick, of being, making the politically correct choice. But. It's, it's still a matter of a joke, and that's what Gandhi, and to, my, to this date, does not deserve the Oscar for Best Picture. Best Actor, yes. But that's it. Sue Glenn, that's one Oscar win, and that's for Best Actor, Ben Kingsley. Riley deserved, and he also, I think he also deserved the Oscar for Schindler's List. Uh, for Best Supporting Actor for Schindler's List. I think it's an outrage that Liam Nielsen did win for, for Schindler's List. But, I need to hear it, and I'm talking about Schindler's List in this review because I already reviewed it. But for, and like I said, for Gandhi to win over ET, then they won the biggest, uh, biggest outrage. The other outrage was when Argo beat out Zero Dark Thirty uh, five years ago. Those were like two biggest, the two biggest outrages in Oscar history in terms of um, for Best Picture. But, uh, I'm not saying that Gandhi wasn't well made or wasn't. The problem with Gandhi, of course, with any movie that's based on a, on a story, or telling a true story of a real life person, is how accurate is that movie? I'm sure there's somebody out there on YouTube who made a, a video saying how inaccurate Gandhi, Gandhi is in the picture. Uh, I'm sure, I'm positive that. So, uh, somebody, uh, somebody out there made, made a video or a website saying how how inaccurate Gandhi is as a movie. And, and I'm telling you now, there's some some joker out there who who did that. Uh, I don't know how inaccurate this because I wasn't born then, obviously. But I would like to know how how inaccurate Gandhi is as a real life person because he only covered. Uh, Richard Amber only covered like about 50 years of Gandhi's life from, I think it was 1889 to 1948 or something like that, or, or 1898 uh, or something to, to, to uh, 1948. He only covered like about 50 years of Gandhi's life. And that's all, that's all they covered. And when I think Gandhi's daughter or something became prime minister or something like that, um, became prime minister of uh, India uh, because because of the name, you know. Uh, I think I think Gandhi's wife did it. Then think it passed on to the daughter that job, but like I said earlier, a couple of times already. I'm not repeating myself, but E. Teacher won over Gandhi. I still feel that to this day. So let me review of the movie Gandhi. Please click on the video. Please rate it. Feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video on your Facebook pages. And you can check out all my reviews on only my YouTube channel. At RallyC.com. It's all W-D-Y. C.com. There's a homepage in the Rally Reviewer. Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website as well. Thanks for watching. And catch you next time.